For this episode, I will combine three things. Traveling to Belgium, meeting a Filipina, and as well, food. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Magandang Ara sa Ion Lahat, welcome po sa aking channel. For this video, I am here in Belgium, traveling to Belgium, and we are in one of the most beautiful places here in Belgium. Now, why I'm saying it's one of the most beautiful places, uh, there's a lot of nature here, and we are in Clam Brabant. Now that's the center, I will show you the map here. That's the center between the province of Antwerp and the province of East Flanders and also of uh, Flemish Brabant. Now there is a lot of nature here and the nature, it's, it's like green. But behind it you have the Schelde. Now the Schelde is one of the biggest rivers here in Belgium and uh, this area it's really well known since they made a program about it the Siri Stille Waters it's recorded here and we are here in Marikerke Marikerke is a really small fisher village it's existing since 1228 if I remember correctly and every year there are some festivities here now the village next to it here is Sint Amans and Sint Amans it's uh, known because a really famous poet was born there, Emil Verhare, and he's even buried next to the Schilde. So um, it's a really nice area to come. You have where I'm walking now, I will show you here. It's a, a, a special road next to the river and it's for a lot of kilometers long so you can walk here you can cycle here especially now with corona that you cannot do anything people start walking a lot and it's a really nice area here to come to to walk now how you can recognize marikerke if you're here next to the schilde and i will turn you can see here there's an old church the church is since 1928 it's immediately when you're coming here you can recognize the church is really next to the river and today we are here because i want to show you this area but also i want to show you because next to the river and you can see it here there is a food truck called happy meal and the owner she's filipina and we're going to visit her today and we will show you what you can find here so if you're coming here a day to walk or to cycle it's always nice you have something to eat as you can see, I'm wearing my mouth mask because it's really crowded here. We have another vlogger here. Look at I'm vlogging here. She's vlogging my vlogging. Yes. <laughs> so we are not the only Filipino here. So, uh, and okay. let's let's check out what they have. <laughs> Bij ons is alles in orde. Dat is goed, we zijn blij te zien en jullie hè? Ja? ja hey, ik, ben, ik ben ook blij dat ik hier ben. I'm also happy that I'm here. Andy Belgian vlog. Andy Belgian vlog. Yeah, and I'm the latest vlog. Ah! Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, this is Andy Belgian vlog. <laughs> So we tried the dynamite. We tried lumpia pinoy and then it's something typically from here it's something like uh, special from here it's uh, fried tahong and then we eat it 
the tahong we eat it with tartar. That's a kind of mayonnaise with a lot of herbs in it. And then the rest it's sweet chili, just like we like it. Let's try the tahong. We're still hungry. It was already a lot, but yeah, we didn't have breakfast because we knew that we had uh, to have some uh, food to try, to test. And one of the things that they're selling here also, that's the tahong that I just showed you. Now you can only find it here in the fourth weekend of June, because then they have festivity here about the old culture here and they have a lot of fish food trucks. So uh, that's why Marekerke is really famous. Now with Whit Monday, uh, Pinkster Maandag, they have a lot of eel festival, that's uh, also why uh, Marekerke is known here in Belgium. They have the eel in the green herb sauce, so that's really famous also. And yeah, the fried tahong, I can only eat it once a year when the festivities are here, so that's uh, why we're trying it. Now they have it in crispy, that's like the normal ones, but they also have it in tempura. And in the tempura they're using also Asian, uh, Asian herbs. So that's why uh, I tried also this one, so to make sure that I tried more than one product. They're really nice. They're more soft. They're not as crispy as the other ones. But th with this one, you can taste more the flavor of the tahong, more the, the flavor of the mussels. And it has some uh, Asian touch with it because they put Asian herbs in it. So this is really nice. The other one here, that's kibling. Kibling is a kind of fish. And normally you only find it in the Netherlands. It's really hard to find it here in Belgium. That's why I wanted to try it also because you cannot find it normally here in Belgium. And let's try this one because they also put some extra special herbs in this. Now, kibling is white fish. And this is really nice. It's fresh, it's soft inside, crispy outside, and it's really going good with the tartar. Now this is really yummy. Eh? Now if you're coming here in this area to walk or to cycle, it's uh, it's really famous here. It's really nice with uh, with the nature. You can really walk for kilometers. You can really uh, even cycle for many many kilometers. So it's worth coming here for uh, for one day or even for a weekend. If you're coming um, to Marikerke, you know it's known for his fish, so it's always nice to come here and uh, to have some fish meal. The fish is really nice. <laughs> and is it worth coming here? Mm -hmm. Hmm? If you have no idea where to go because of the corona, because everything is closed and you want to cycle, you want to walk please check out Mari Kerken Please check out here the road next to the Schelde. I will see if I can put the link down in the description. It was really nice. Oh, I'm happy to hear. Yeah? Okay, 
It's really, really nice. It's a... Uh, Especially the tahong. I like the fried tahong because oh. you cannot... Yeah, lumpia. Yeah. As a Filipino, you're eating more lumpia than you eat fried tahong. Eh? But the fried tahong is uh, mostly only here in, uh, in June. Ah, with yeah, a yeah. fissile folklore. Yeah, yeah. That's the only is, time. Uh, yeah. If the weather is more nice, because uh -huh. now it starts raining. So. And it's uh, nice to cross in the overcount, eh? Yeah. yeah. And nice. then the, the undercount is the Thai. Thai Sirtamans. Ah, yeah, yeah, Sirtamans. It's the moist plot when Belhian. Yeah, it's the nicest uh, turn in, uh, in the Schelde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most beautiful. So we arrived back in the house, we really have to make a quick cut because the weather was really changing really quickly, it, was, uh, it started raining like crazy. Uh, now it's a really hard video to record because the sun was uh, coming up, the sun was going down and it was coming up again uh, and also maybe you heard it uh, in the back but there is really a lot of people there, uh, a lot of walkers, a lot of cyclers and they all stopped um, there in Happy Meal uh, to have a snack. Now uh, to give a small review, the food was really nice, it was really fresh and uh, we really enjoyed it uh, we are for sure if we are in that area we are uh, we're going back because it's a uh, it's an easy small snack and you have things that you don't find everywhere especially than the kibling and and the mussels the tahong uh, because i realize i always uh, call it tahong uh, but tahong, tahong is a uh, tagalog for uh, for mussels so that's uh, something I have to pay attention if I'm uh, talking about it. Now, it's really nice uh, that they can stand there. They're standing there till the end of September. But yeah, that's still a few months. So maybe in that time, there are already some things changing that uh, they can uh, extend it. Uh, because it's, uh, it's really nice there if you're uh, walking. Now, I searched it also uh, when I was coming home the road next to the river it's 25 kilometers long now the 25 kilometers long is only one way and it's uh, just following the river now you have a lot of uh, special cycling tours uh, here in belgium we have like the plates that you can follow uh, with the arrows and then you can search uh, which road you want you want road 7 or you want road 10 for example and every road has a different uh, uh, length that you can follow so if you are a cycler or you like to cycle it's worth uh, watching that uh, because you will pass there but also you can follow other routes uh, in Clan Brabant now I hope you like this video we really enjoyed uh, making it because uh, yeah we like to eat we both like to eat Anne and Johan they're really friendly people so uh, show your support if you're passing there and uh, buy, buy a small snack they also have a Facebook page I will put also a link down in the description so if you want you can like that page as well I hope you like this video if you like it please give it a thumbs up if you didn't subscribe yet don't forget to click the red button down the video the subscribe button don't forget to not click the notification bell as well and I hope to see you in the next vlog Pa'alam! Tot ziens!